Today we're going to be reviewing my snowboard that I just got for this season. It's a Burton Custom 162 wide. And I haven't bought a new board in a long time. So I'm looking forward to getting this review done. I haven't even taken it on the mountain yet, but snow's coming in. Early season conditions are starting to clear out. Uh, snow mass got 16 inches in the last week. That's pretty good. Two new storms coming in. So I'm looking forward to that. All my gear's ready. Got some friends planning to come up in two weeks. So hopefully get some good on mountain shots. But today we'll review my new snowboard, why I bought it, and um, why it's really the only board you'll need. Whether it's just if you're the kind of guy that uses his board maybe once, twice a year, or you go and you get an Aspen pin and you're up there 100 times a year. That's not quite me. I'll probably get 10 to 20 days in every season but you know what if there's a snowboard you want that's going to be the one snowboard you're going to have for the next couple years this is it let's get into it So here is a picture of my board that I just got a couple weeks ago. Pretty stoked. I got the white top deck with the black underneath. I think it's the better the designs when looking at it aesthetically. It doesn't do a lot and I think it will... Uh, Play out as a board that I can ride for a long time and not get sick of the graphics. But here it is on the Burton website, kind of scrolling through. But Burton says that the new custom is poppy, versatile, and fun. From its humble beginnings, innovation has defined the Burton Custom Snowboard series and set it apart as the most popular, versatile, and mimicked board in snowboarding. Since 1996, this icon has reigned supreme while constantly evolving with a proven formula that combines time-honored design with next-gen ingredients to create a lightweight, poppy, and highly versatile board. When it comes to stability and precision, the custom camber is the top choice for many Burton Pro riders. This graphic that they got here They say, all aboard the rocket ship. That is the Burton Custom. The classic board is standard issue for all our troops. So it gets fun, fast looking art that everyone can appreciate, just like the board Trusted Rider. But looking through a couple cool photos that they got online, I think um, it is actually a pretty good looking board. But for the longest time, the Burton Custom, it's been the standard for a lot of pro riders. And uh, I got to say, it's still the reign supreme today. See a lot of these boards online. Uh, see a lot of these boards on the mountain. Burton was the first company to use binding ankle straps. Plus, they were the first ones to do the high back wings for the bindings, first ones to do the speed zone lacing on their boots, and the first ones to integrate the channel on their snowboard for mounting your bindings. Camber is the most traditional bend shape in sporting. It features a raised profile in the center, contact points in the snow. The camber provides continuously distributed weight across the edge and for full edge contact and also providing for a powerful, aggressive and snappy ride. A 
A camber bend advocates powerful turns and poppy precision, offering snappy suspension with weight distribution evenly across the entire board for smooth, continuous edge control from tip to tail. Now, here's the board size finder. I am a 10 and a half, I weigh about 200 pounds. I'm five foot 10. Here it's saying uh, size view out of 162. Now the longer board you get, the more it'll want to float on top of the snow when you have that fresh powder. But here you can see that uh, you can float through your weight and find the exact size. Now looking at the binding size that it's requesting that I get for my shoe size, that's a large binding. So anytime I do a large binding, I like to try and get the wider snowboard. Uh, the wider snowboard is also going to be nice for getting on top of that snow. But here's the multiple five-star reviews. You know, it's coming in at 4.9. There's a, a lot of reviews here. But the Burton Snowboard, I've found a lot of people that ride the Burton Snowboard, the Burton Custom uh, specifically. These people will ride the board for a couple years and then when they go to upgrade, they'll be riding the, uh, the new Burton Custom. So back in the day when I started snowboarding, it was the Burton Air. But that's, uh, that's kind of funny. Everything was the Air back then. It was uh, the Nike Air, the Air Jordans, the Burton Air. And... Um, Man, that was, uh, that was one of the best boards you could get back then. So here we are, decades later, the Burton Custom, still reigning supreme. 